I don't know about you, but I have never spent a January wanting to go out and socialize this much. <sighs> this pandemic is taking away all the joy I typically get from hiding in my house until May. And now I just find myself yelling at the TV, Doug, you're ruining everything. It's the middle of the winter. If you didn't make such a big deal about this, I would be happy to stay at home. Or as you say, rest a la maison. <sighs> yeah, the last uh, 10 months or so, it's been an interesting ride, hey? You know, I found it rather fascinating that when the pandemic hit last March, we were all given this profound opportunity to slow down and reflect on our lives. And everybody was like, absolutely not. I will learn how to bake bread from scratch. Hmm. I have to say this pandemic has shown how truly adaptable we are. Um, you know, we've gone from that initial phase of shock and confusion and panic buying, which left us wondering if we were going to have to start wiping our behinds with coffee filters to having a preferred brand of hand sanitizer and coordinating our face masks with our outfits. Speaking of which, I, I, I don't understand why there are still people who are against wearing masks. Masks protect you and the people around you. And they protect you from having to talk to people you know in public. I mean, add sunglasses and you're literally in disguise. It's safe to do anything, anywhere, even in your hometown. However, after watching how some people wear their masks, I now understand why contraception fails. <laughs>